Good morning, Jerry. How you doing? Hey, doing great, RJ, Bobby, and uh, uh, just doing great. Boy, getting ready to head to Green Bay. Absolutely. How was the uh, the bye week? You get a nice recharge in this week? Sure did. Sure did. And um, uh, basically um, uh, uh, had a good uh, day Sunday, particularly watching all the games and and uh, uh, just looking at the overall lay of the land from a from that perspective and uh, uh, kind of like uh, where we find ourselves. Do, do you feel the league is, is a little bit more wide open uh, this year that, that, that more teams may have a chance to, to hoist that Lombardi? I, I would say that uh, the teams are, uh, uh, we've got a lot of quarterbacks playing well. Uh, I think that's a good thing. We've got uh, some good defense uh, uh, in general. And uh, I would say we've got a very competitive, to be trite, a very competitive league. Jerry, there were you, you know you mentioned you were watching a lot of the games on Sunday, so I'm sure you saw on the uh, the pregame kickoff shows there were a number of reports over the weekend that the team has some interest in Odell Beckham Jr. C- can you talk about if that's accurate? If you guys do have interest, where you guys stand on that, and also just where you feel your receiving core is at in general right now at this point of the season? Well, uh, that's a big question. I really like where we are with our receiving core. We've got, uh, uh, of course, uh, Washington coming back, and that's a big, uh, that's big. And uh, we've got Gallup, who is just, uh, in my mind, getting better uh, to at the level that uh, uh, we would expect him to be and uh, uh, improving every day. Uh, and, of course, uh, Lamb, uh, we think, is... Uh, uh, everything that we wanted at our number one receiver. I like the way we're uh, pitching the ball, throwing the ball with our tight ends. And uh, I think that's meaningful in this conversation uh, because um, uh, as I see us going forward, uh, that's uh, 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 that could uh, basically dictate uh, just how aggressive we are in free, any type of additions that we have here with our receivers. Uh, on the other hand, Odell is someone that uh, uh, we have all the appreciation in the world for what he is as a competitor uh, and uh, uh, know that uh, uh, the Cowboy star on that uh, helmet when he puts it on uh, uh, could look pretty good. What do you need to see uh, from Odell if, in order to bring him in from, from a, a medical standpoint? Also, though, like, you know, do you really have, you know, like the idea or want two guys coming off ACLs uh, at the receiving core? Well, I think your point is uh, right on, and that is uh, uh, we, we know that, uh, uh, that uh, we should uh, be aware that uh, he's uh, coming off this injury, uh, but he showed he can do it and do it well last year. Uh, so uh, that would go in the mix real good. His past... Uh, his past, uh, uh, not experience, but his past dealing with adversity, if you will, of injury rehab, uh, I think that tells you a lot. Jerry, when you look at making a an acquisition, a big change like that in the in the middle of the season, uh, you know, you know what 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 do you do? How how does that evaluation process go when you're determining whether you need to add somebody like that in the middle of the season? When you take into account factors like are they going to get up to speed fast enough? You know, can we count on guys to step up their play that are already here internally? What is that evaluation process like for you guys? Well, I think a veteran player such as uh, Odell, uh, but my experience has been when we have brought a veteran player in, uh, they hit the ground running in terms of uh, being able to compete. And uh, uh, so um, uh, that, that usually uh, is not a big factor. Uh, when when we think about uh, uh, whether or not a player uh, can, uh, well, just can he fit? Uh, now, the player's individual skills, uh, his people skills, as well as his uh, uh, past experience in terms of the systems that he's been in, if in fact he's been a, with several teams, all of those uh, weigh in on it. But uh, I think that you're looking at a player that his experience uh, far outweighs any of that ambiguity involved with uh, uh, how's he going to fit your system. 
We're talking with Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones here on Sean and RJ. Uh, Jerry, you mentioned uh, you're excited to get there to, to Green Bay this week to take on the Packers, head to Lambeau Field. I, I'm curious, you know, you've you've had some tough battles with Aaron Rodgers over the years. Is there is there any player you can think of that, that's caused you more personal, you know, you know, football heartache than Aaron Rodgers over your career? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, you'd have to uh, include in there uh, uh, some defensive players, and uh, in that in that particular list. But uh, uh, that uh, uh, pass he threw out here at the staff that he threw on the sideline uh, that uh, kept us from uh, that at the end of the ball game here. About I forget which uh, what year it was, but the point is. Uh, it seems like because he's quarterback, it seems like he's made the plays. I will, however, say that the biggest heartbreak uh, play he wasn't involved in, and that was the one of Des Bryant when uh, they ruled he didn't have the catch. That's the one that stands out the most. You know, when you, uh, you're you heading into Green Bay this week, this is obviously going to be a, a big game for Mike McCarthy, your head coach, his return there, his, his first opportunity to take on his former team. I know everybody likes to, you know, try and compartmentalize it down and say, you know, oh, it's just another game. We're just we're focused on the opponent. But I mean, th- this has to mean something. I, I would imagine to to Mike McCarthy and, and to the organization as a whole to, you know, be really meaningful to pick up a victory for him heading into Green Bay. Yeah, uh, you know, his wife, <clears throat> his her father, uh, is the uh, kind of the uh, gatekeeper of, uh, if you will, the history for Green Bay. Uh, it's kind of the archivist for the team. And so uh, uh, she uh, has uh, a great history of the tradition that's involved up there. <clears throat> and so he lives pretty close to it. Uh, secondly, he's got all those uh, really great memories. Uh, and he's got some things that, uh, which goes with it. Uh, he's got some things that uh, uh, get under his skin a little bit, I'm sure, you had all that together, and this is uh, going to be quite a uh, uh, personal uh, visit for him to Green Bay. Jerry, second straight year, you're at the same spot, you know, six and two. D- do you feel this team is in better position to win a championship than last year's team at the same time? Uh, I'm going to look at it from the health standpoint, and I like our health. Uh, and that has everything to do with what we've got on the come. And uh, I think we've uh, got a, two or three key players that uh, if they uh, stay to farm and get back, uh, whether it be at receiver, whether it be at our left tackle, uh, frankly, uh, we've got some guys nicked up over on defense that this buy really helped out. And as we look on into the uh, – we get in on the last half of the season, uh, I, I see a handful of players that uh, uh, haven't been there uh, really the last uh, uh, handful of games, handful of players, handful of games, but uh, that we can look to having as we get near the playoffs. That's a big deal. And uh, I thought we were the healthiest uh, that we'd ever been going into the playoffs last year. And that was the reason for, in my mind, the biggest disappointment. I thought we were ready to go for the playoff. Uh, we uh, uh, hopefully will be in that kind of shape health-wise and uh, – uh, be uh, buoyed by the fact that we were uh, had that experience last year. All of that should help us do better. Are, are your expectations different now than they were to start the year? Oh, I don't think so. Not at all. <laughs> I thought we could get back. Uh, at least I thought that until Dak got hurt in that first game. Uh, but I sure thought we could get back to where we were last year. Jerry, when you uh, you mentioned the health there, and obviously some of the the, the long term health concerns of getting guys get back like Tyron Smith, uh, in, in the short term, obviously uh, Ezekiel Elliott missed the game against Chicago, got the bye week, got the little two week rest there. Uh, what is his status as, as you head into this Green Bay game? We'll see a lot um, uh, as we go through the week's practice. Uh, it's anticipated he'll be ready to go. And you know when you look at how the passing game has, has improved these last two weeks, uh, you know, with Dak coming back, especially the last six quarters, he's, he's performed at a really high level. Um, you know, I know it's been a, a defense and running game combination. 
do you look at this as the passing game being kind of the third leg of this uh, of this you know structure here, and that the cow that the team is going to be able to lean more on the passing game now that Dak's back and they seem to find their rhythm? I do. I think uh, we can look forward. Should expect uh, more success in the passing game. Uh, that uh, could easily be manifest though by having better uh, rushing statistics. Uh, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm anticipating more effectiveness. Uh, I'm anticipating uh, uh, not only uh, uh, getting the ball out of there quick, uh, Dak uh, uh, being able to throw that ball on the move, uh, but I see downfield some too in the passing game. I like what we're doing in the intermediate game with our tight ends, as I mentioned earlier. And I like the fact that we're getting, uh, uh, we're just getting better at receiver. Uh, we may or may not uh, get something done as far as additive, adding something to the receiver core. But if we don't, I like where we are. Jerry, you know, uh, looking in at your division here, uh, you know, there there was some news recently that the Washington Commanders are exploring uh, their options in terms of a sale. Just your, your thoughts on that and uh, where that stands. Well, I think that's uh, pr- pretty much your question. Uh, says it. Uh, they're exploring options, and uh, basically that is uh, really, in my view, is an operating option in the sense that uh, uh, they've got some great plans uh, to build a, a fabulous venue in the nation's capital. And in doing so, it'll raise all boats in the NFL, raise our game. And, uh, but that's going to take an enormous amount of capital. Look at what uh, 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 had to be spent in Los Angeles to get that venue out there. Uh, the stadia is have really uh, increased in terms of uh, the amount of resources it takes to get one done at that level. Uh, that'd be an expensive uh, build up there in the Washington area. All of that is why uh, uh, they're looking at their options financially. Do you think that there needs to be a change? Again, I'm not uh, getting there. Uh, uh, Usually, uh, these things are dictated uh, totally uh, by the financial uh, uh, implications, completely, whether it be from an owner's uh, standpoint of of his, uh, for for what he may have on a personal basis, or whether that's what it takes to uh, make the franchise be what it can be. Make no mistake about that. Washington franchise is one of the great uh, sports franchises in the world, and uh, it'll 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 get to its fruition uh, by virtue of uh, just doing just what they're doing. They're checking uh, their different ways they can to get that uh, stadium built and uh, get that team uh, competing at a high level. Uh, I know that's arm waving, but uh, uh, this is just the uh, this just the process. Jerry, a few players over the last couple of weeks, several actually, have voiced their opinions and frustrations about uh, the the use of of turf and and, and not natural grass and, and the knee injuries that are being uh, you know caused non contact knee injuries. Do you see a day or a way where you know the, every stadium is going to have to have natural grass based on the you know the, the players' request, the collective bargaining agreement? And not at all, and it's not because uh, we have. Uh, uh, the uh, surface that we have, uh, our stats, our league stats, don't see issues uh, with uh, the type surface that uh, we have, uh, as opposed to natural gas. We don't see issues. No facts bear that out. Jerry, you know, you mentioned in here when we've talked about the passing game how uh, C.D. Lamb has been everything that you guys wanted to see and more in a number one receiver. Can, can you just talk about his maturation and, and how you've seen him grow and, and how you guys are relying on him? Yeah, uh, I think that uh, uh, his uh, uh, run after catch, uh, his, uh, his ability to uh, extend plays, uh, he's just turning the corner on. That's always been there. Uh, but I think our offense is uh, uh, giving him and designed to give him a better chance to uh, make that aspect of his game uh, uh, embellish it, so to speak. And so um, I think that's the case. You would expect a a player 
at this juncture in his career to uh, really be showing marked improvement from when he came in as a rookie, and you're seeing that. Uh, but he's a uh, he's a, a real uh, uh, threat to deal with as far as the defense is concerned. He can make those 20-yard plays, and we've got to have those. And so um, uh, he's he's very deserving of being our uh, number one receiver. Jerry, here, last question for you. When when you head into the second half, like RJ mentioned, you were six and two last year, six and two this year. Um, as you enter the second half of the season, where would you still like to see some more consistency for the ball club? Where would you still like to see them improve as they head into the second half of the year? Well, uh, we improved dramatically on third down uh, and short yardage downs. I mean, and uh, third and fourth, if you will. But still, um, uh, that improvement. Uh, uh, you've got to uh, uh, look to that and say if you can get consistent and get your share, your right kind of percentages of third down, third and short downs, and uh, uh, we can improve there. We've got room to improve, but I sure like the direction we were headed after last week. Jerry, thank you so much for your time, and uh, best of luck this weekend against the Packers. Let's go get them. Better put on our coats. It's <laughs> supposed to be a little chilly. <laughs> it is much great chilly. football weather up there. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jerry.